times today. Absolutely beautiful times today because I'm dealing with chocolate. <laughs> Your favorite. And halva. I love halva. This time of year, Diana did the homemade the other day. You can watch it on our next, on our other video, homemade halva. But today I bought halva from the supermarket, the commercial one, vanilla, which is lovely again. It's different. And with this little halva and a bit of chocolate and a bit of orange zest, I made this. Mm. So, let's cook it together. Melt in the chocolate, now in the bed marie, the, the dark chocolate. And when is, this is melted, I'm going to combine the rest of the ingredients in it, which is some orange zest, some beautiful hazelnuts, I'm going to smash them in a minute, tahini, some cocoa powder, halva. This is the shop bought halva I was telling you about, it's vanilla flavor. And mm. a little bit of honey, or just a teaspoon of honey. And Zakynthian honey as well. Zakynthian honey and... Stay local. And Zakynthian oranges. <laughs> From our Stay garden. local and melt the chocolate. See you in a minute. Oh, beautiful. Melted beautifully. So I've got the tahini here, which is the sesame paste. And it, the oil always comes on top. You can see on the surface. So you need, if you buy the jar, you need to kind of try and mix it a little bit. You won't be able to do it much, but just a little bit. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of tahini. We wanted a lot of tahini, big tahini um, flavor. Even the halva is made from tahini, right? This is a teaspoon of honey. This beautiful Zakinian honey from up the mountains. Runny honey. Beautiful. We're known on the island for our honey, among other things. And this is, you can't waste that. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Quality the control, is it? Quality, Quality control. control. Yeah. And the cocoa powder for extra chocolate flavor. So what we're going to do now is mix these guys together, nice and gently. And we're going to let the mixture cool for about half an hour, until it's completely cool down okay the chocolate is cooling down oh. mm. I'm gonna smash the hazelnuts I could put them in a the grinder but I don't want them fine we want chunky pieces of hazelnut in our halva mixture so I get a towel I have a basher you can do it with a rolling pin with a bottle just break them up okay just see what you're looking for? Oh, Perfect. Yeah. yeah, we are. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Absolutely lovely. So, I'll see you all in about 20 minutes when the chocolate is cooled down. Okay, completely cool now. And all the hazelnuts are going, going on in. Mm -hmm. Simple. If it's not simple, I don't do it. <laughs> Lovely zest, that will give you lovely flavour, orange and chocolate. Yeah, great and marriage, isn't it? Beautiful. And the tahini also is very, very sweet and very nutty, so it's going to go lovely with a bit of orange. Halva, with your hands, just mash it all in. It's very crumbly anyway, isn't it? It's crumbly, it's almost, almost like crumbling feta. In a spinach mm. pie. <laughs> I don't know, but a bit drier. It is a bit drier, yes. It's very, it's very gritty, isn't it, by nature, because mm. of the sea. Of the sea. Okay, look at that. Hands washed, and in we go. Look at that. That is one of the best ways to use halva, <laughs> the, commerci the commercial halva. Mm. Very calorific, very tasty. <laughs> and at the end of the day... Once a year. But a little goes a long way, doesn't it? Oh, it does. You don't need much. That'll be lovely with a nice espresso later on. And a little cake. Mold is the word you're looking for. Mold is the silicone one I'm using. You can use anything, really, anything. Just lay the cling film inside. Empty the mixture.
Mm. Okay. Okay, use. That's the thing now with these silicone spatulas. In the old days, you'd have had the bowl to lick, but now there's nothing left, is there? <laughs> no, now you lick the spatula. <laughs> when you've finished. <laughs> Come on, concentrate. <laughs> it's tempting, isn't it? Too tempting. It is, and the orange smells lovely. So, cover it with a cling film, and it's going to go in the fridge for an hour until it sets. Good, okay. Okie doke. Just in the fridge, not the freezer. In the fridge. Okay. See you later. Perfect. Excited. <laughs> really, really excited. That's not the word. <laughs> <laughs> I love chocolate. <laughs> so, this has been in the fridge two hours. You can leave it overnight, doesn't matter. You can leave it three, four hours until the chocolate sets. And now is the moment of truth. Wow. I can't wait to have a, a piece of this beauty. There's a little piece there, it's just fallen off, that's possibly. Al yeah, we also call this marble halva because it's almost, it's like mosaic, mosaic halva. Because it's almost like a mosaic inside okay. because of the nuts. So let's have a little piece. That bit just fell off, just for you, yeah. didn't it? <laughs> Love it. If you don't live in Greece, go to your local delicatessen and pay an arm and leg for a piece of halva <laughs> and please do it because it's amazing. It really is lovely. Or come out and buy some and take it home with you. That's even better. We'll come to the taste buddies and yeah. taste some here. So thank you for watching once again. Subscribe, ring the bell, share and see you in the next video. Bye, bye everyone. Bye taste buddies. Bye. I've got to keep him away from that now till the guests get here. <laughs>